もっと戦おう炎のかけ王儀 Hello guys, good to have you back. In today's editing tutorial, I will show you how I recreated the anime shockwave effect from Demon Slayer using Node Video Editor. First, add two bookmark points where you want the shockwave effect to start and end. Then, add an adjustment layer and trim it to fit the bookmarked areas, leaving a little space at the end of the second point. Next, go to the effects store, select Nature, and add Ripple Simple. This effect has properties that will help us create the shockwave. Start by adding animation to the evolution using keyframes. The strength property allows you to reduce or increase the opacity of the shockwave effect. The intensity property controls the impact of the shockwave. I use the color property to blend the edges of the shockwave by selecting the flame Hashira color. You'll likely notice distortion on the edge of the video frame. To fix this, I added keyframes to the video transformation scale. Next, go back to the effects store and add the heat wave effect. This effect has many cool features, but will only be changing the direction, scale, and amplitude. Direction allow you to change the direction of the heat wave effect. Add keyframes to the scale property, which controls the size of the heat wave effect. The amplitude property controls the strength of the heat wave effect. After you finish those steps, export the video project. So I start a new timeline and add the exported video project. Again, find the areas where you added the shockwave effect and trim them side by side.
After that is done, I'm going to duplicate the video layer I trimmed, but first let's rename the video file to duplicate one. The other two duplicate two. Increase the video time lapse on duplicate one to add slow motion. Then add optical flow to duplicate one and turn on HD slow motion mode and remove duplicate mode. After that is done, click on the enable button to activate optical flow. Finally, watch the final video playback. I hope you enjoyed this video editing tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more editing tutorials. Peace.